Here's the thing that, that makes being a dad tough. When, when they're little, you are never the man your kids think you are. The world, from their perspective, may seem really big, but it isn't very complex. If something breaks, Dad can fix it. If there's a problem, Dad can solve it. The imaginary monsters under the bed are afraid of him because he's the strongest, bravest man in the world. It's a pretty good feeling for them to think of you as a hero. But then after you tuck them in at night and pray them to sleep, you look in the mirror and a hero is not what you see. You know the world is a complicated place, that not everything that's broken can be fixed, that, that some problems can't be solved, and that some monsters are real. And despite their unwavering confidence, you know there are and will be moments that are too big even for you. And then when they get a little bit older, they figure out what you knew all along. They see your shortcomings and your sins, your flaws and your failures, and even your fears. And then though they, they may not have the emotional vocabulary to name it, the thing they might feel is disappointment. And disappointing your kids was not on your list of things a dad is supposed to do. So maybe one of God's greatest mercies then is all those stories in the Bible about dads who didn't measure up. Abraham, Isaac, and Jacob, Saul, David, and Solomon, Eli, Lot, and Noah. Those, those guys put the fun in dysfunction. And yet God used each of them to do great things, to move the world closer to God's solution for all that failure. Despite their glaring imperfections, he even calls some of them heroes. So if God could use those guys, he can use us. Besides, there's only one perfect father. And he not, he not only understands how hard it is to get it right, he's got a plan for how to recover when we get it wrong. So hang in there, and happy Father's Day. Not a sermon, just a thought.